Okay, so normally people in meditation say sit in a comfortable upright position. For this meditation, sit in a delightful position. Sit in a, the most pleasurable position. That probably doesn't mean collapsed, because you might not enjoy that after five minutes. It's okay to lie down. Um, I'd say lying down with the knees up is a good option, and then you won't go to sleep. So, it's really nice, to, like James was saying there, like ask, give yourself permission to not, like the meditation police aren't going to come and get you if you slump. <laughs> Equally, you might find like a really upright, noble, expansive position is really pleasurable. So let's spend a minute to experiment with your posture. This is quite radical what I'm suggesting, right? If you're used to kind of meditating in a bolt upright Zen position. And we're already working with our sense of giving permission to ourselves because, there's a, you know, everybody has that little parental, scholastic, societal voice, which is like, well, sit, sit upright. You know, in school, you get told, sit up straight. And maybe, as I said, for me, actually, today, I deliberately got rid of the back jack because I really felt like I wanted that nobility and expansiveness. So it's not always slumped. It might just be a slight tilt of the pelvis, different than normal. So people can think of meditation as like um, staring intensely at a parking ticket. I would suggest that's not mindfulness, which is itself a dodgy translation of the Pali. So what might be a different attitude of awareness rather than, you know, like a sniper aiming at the head of their enemy? I'm using quite provocative images here to say we're not doing that. So how about this as an image? These children playing in a playground that you care about and you're on a bench, very relaxed nearby, just keeping a gentle eye on them. And you're not interfering with their play. But equally, you're still attentive. Or maybe you're at a party and you see a friend you haven't seen in ages and you just open with delight to go and hug that friend. Or maybe you're very relaxed on holiday, sitting by the sea. And you've got a belly full of food and you're very well laid. And there's a lovely sunset that just comes out of nowhere and you just appreciate it. You're not trying to capture it. You're not trying to stare at the sun, right? It's just like, oh, that's nice. It just naturally suggests awareness. So all I'm doing is giving some general attitudes for awareness that may be more inviting than pay attention. <laughs> pay a relaxation. It's a friendly, receptive attitude to the whole body. And you can even say to experience or to your body, welcome, welcome. If someone comes to your house and you're like, you really want them there, like, welcome. Put the spiritual kettle on. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> So let's focus on pleasure. When we do have a negativity bias, we tend to notice what's uncomfortable or difficult physically, emotionally, but the discipline here is to stay with what's enjoyable in your body. And that might be, you know, I have a pleasant full feeling from having eggs for breakfast. It might just be the general warmth of your body or coolness, whatever feels good. Here's one. Has anyone ever worked in a cafe or a bar and when you sit down at the end of the day, you go, oh, that feels good. 
actually, if you're under 30, you might not know this, but sitting down feels really good. And there might be a kind of gentle pleasure of just resting. Kind of easefulness of like, ah, this is less effort than running around. Another kind of pleasure would be like, um, it's like kids just enjoy running around. It's like the feeling of vitality and life, like the blood pumping through your veins, the possibility of action. There's a pleasure in virility of vitality that you might feel in your body, like, I can do shit. It's more of a yang pleasure. My nephew likes to wrestle me. It's got a feeling of power he gets. Or you could let go of the jaw, that could be a pleasure. And when you're in pleasure, that's literally what you do. You'll start dribbling, right? Because you go, ah. So we can stimulate that pleasure response by just letting the jaw go a little bit. Sometimes the rolling the eyes a little bit is another part of the pleasure response. But if you take the head back just a little bit, you don't have to go sort of full Jimi Hendrix guitar solo orgasm. But just a little bit taking the head back and letting the eyes go, you'll, file, you'll find that little bit of ecstasy. Ecstasy is an extension, not a flexion, right? Sadness is a flexion. What's the quality of humour in life? I've, I've had the pleasure of interviewing people far more enlightened than me, and most of them are quite funny. There's a quality of humour in everything. Subtle, that one. If you like any of these, feel free to zone out and ignore me. Just stay with whatever's pleasurable. Letting the shoulders go. What about the breath? So there's the pleasure of breathing in. If you don't know what that feels like, hold your breath for 30 seconds and then you'll really enjoy breathing in. It's like, oh, I'm alive. And then there's the pleasure of letting go, isn't it? When we breathe out, it's the pleasure of, ah, what a relief. I'm home after work, it's autumn leaves. It's the pleasure of letting go of your control freak, perfectionist, uptight tendencies. Ah, we all want to let go, don't we? So you've got pleasure in and pleasure out on the breath. You can add a visualization to, you know, what would be a pleasurable thing to breathe in. Perfume, rainbows, light. A certain color. Breathing in the pleasure of receptivity, all the pleasure of uh, taking. Thank you, tree. Out. It's the pleasure of letting go. All the pleasure of expressing yourself. It's like if you breathed out like a dragon, like, ah. There's another kind of pleasure of that. That's yang out. So you've got yin and yang in, yin and yang out. Pick, pick your pleasure. I guarantee one of them you will like.
pleasure of being embodied. Okay, I've got one last inappropriate visualization for you. I'd like everyone to imagine they're a happy, perky nipple poking through a t-shirt on a cold day in all directions because it wants to be loved. 360 degree nipple expansion. With that image, please open your eyes and have a look around. Pleasure meditation.